Hello everyone, I am JJ and today I'll be showing you how to use your phone's lens as a webcam for Zoom. So the many reasons you might want to do this is because maybe the webcam installed in your laptop is a little bit low quality and really blurry or maybe you do not have a separate webcam for your computer or desktop. So if you have anything like your smartphone or um, a better quality device that you can take pictures with, I strongly suggest that you use them. With this method, you can use your camera lens on your phone to um, record videos during Zoom. So this is really simple. All you gotta have to do is go to the Play Store and search for DroidCam or link in description. And after searching for DroidCam, download the DroidCam which has the green icon. It is a completely free app. After downloading, um, follow the instructions to install the desktop application of DroidCam and when you go in DroidCam, you can see a few, a bunch of options. So once you install it and connect it to the same Wi-Fi, you will see a screen like this and with the desktop application, you will see like this and just double click it and you will bring you to a screen, an interface. So to connect, there's three ways that you can connect, four ways, sorry. Then you can connect through Wi-Fi, you can connect through USB, and you can create a Wi-Fi server. This is a bit more technical and advanced, and I won't go through that. And you can also use the browser IP address. So first of all, I'm going to teach you how to use the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is really easy. Just make sure the device IP here and your Wi-Fi IP here is the same. So right now it is different. So we need to change it and make sure the port is also the same for both of them, all right? So let me quickly change everything. Sorry, I switched my phone because my old phone couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi. So right now, if your Wi-Fi IP and your Droid Cam is the same as your laptop's IP address and port, just click on start and it should be able to connect to the rear camera. So right now it's connecting to the rear camera. Unfortunately, I don't think it's able to connect to the front camera or selfie camera. So as you can see, it's live streaming myself with the desktop. Okay, so that means it works. And it highly depends on your Wi-Fi speed. So if your Wi-Fi speed is slow, then it will be a little bit lagging. Right now, I'll show you about the USB method. So the USB method is a little bit glitchy and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So for me, most of the times it won't work. So just connect to your USB cable and to your laptop and to your phone. And depending on your luck, you might be able to or you might not be able to. So if you're wondering what does this browser IP cam access does, so this is actually also connecting through Wi-Fi and you just copy and paste this link address into your Google and browser and it will do the same thing, but it is not relevant in this tutorial. So let's go into Zoom and I'll teach you how to use your phone as a webcam. So this is Zoom in my laptop. So right now, I'll just go and create a new meeting. And as you can see, this is my webcam, internal webcam. So it's really blur and really lousy. To connect your phone and your Zoom, you must first connect it through either, either USB or Wi-Fi. So right now I'll be connecting to his Wi-Fi and just press start. So right now it's connecting. So let's go into the stop video right here. Click on it and go there should be a few sources of droid cam so just go any of it and you will see that it is connecting to your phone right now so yeah as you can see so you can use like a tripod and just put it here and then it is connected so you can see it's much clearer and depending on your phone's quality so if you connect your phone 
to a bookshelf or a tripod if you have and you can see that it is right now recording so if I use my internal webcam it will be really blurry as you can see really dull color and really blurry and if you switch to the droid cam and compare to it it's much clearer much higher quality depending on your camera so this is it for our tutorial and I'm sorry and I apologize for all the phone switching because of some technical problems and if I help you a little bit today uh, make sure to give me a like and share it with some of your zoom friends and stay safe